Welcome to Data Demystified. I'm Jeff Gallick, and this is my series of tutorial videos on how to use SPSS to work with data. In this video, I'm going to show you a very quick way to standardize or to z-score your variables. As always, we'll be using the YouTube Viewing Habits survey that I created, and you can find both a link to the data file and a video tutorial of the data below. Standardizing or creating a z-score is a very useful tool for norming your data. Sometimes we need to compare two different variables that are on wildly different scales. Sometimes we need to use these variables as inputs to other analyses like regression where standardization is useful. And so what you can do is very quickly create a standardized variable. As a quick refresher to create a standardized variable, you just take whatever that value is, subtract from it the mean of all the data in that particular variable, and then divide all of that by the standard deviation. What that'll do is create an output, which is the deviation from a mean in terms of standard deviations. A little more formally, it'll actually create a new variable, which is the same data, but normed such that the mean of that new variable is zero and the standard deviation is one. So to create a z-score, you can actually do that in two ways. One is you can do it manually, and second, and I'll show you in a second, is to do it automatically. So first I wanna show you the manual approach so you get an intuition for what's going on. Let's say I wanna standardize this variable right here, duration in seconds, that's how long it took somebody to complete the survey. So to do that, first I can do it manually. Well, to get the information that I need for mean and standard deviations, I can go up to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives. Once I have that, I can put in my variable right here, duration in seconds, and I can just click OK and I'll get the data I need. So right here it tells me that the mean of this particular variable is 318 and the standard deviation is 227. So if I wanna create a standardized variable manually, what I can do is go to transform, compute variable. This window will appear here. I'm gonna call this new variable Z underscore duration. Z is a shorthand for a Z score or standardized variable. And then I'm gonna compute a variable like this. I'm going to say the value of my variable, which is just duration in seconds minus the mean, which I saw up there is 318.9640, and all of that divided by the standard deviation, which is 227.67462. And I'm just copying these values straight from this table. If I click OK, you'll see that I have a new variable in my data set. If I scroll all the way over to the right, and it's right here, Z duration, those are standardized scores. And the way to interpret this is each of these values represents the deviation in terms of standard deviations from the mean of zero. So this person's response is one standard deviation faster, because it's a negative, than the average response. This person's total completion time is 2.3 standard deviations above the average response time. Now, of course, we don't want to have to do that manually every time, so there is a shortcut, and I will show that to you right now. If we go back to Analyze Descriptives, Descriptives, right here is a button that says Save Standardized Values as Variables. And whatever I put in over here, it will automatically generate for me a set of new variables that are standardized variables for that. So I'm just gonna leave the one intact here so you see what that looks like. I click OK. I get the same table, but now if I go back to my data set, there's another column of data that was created by SPSS. And this is the automatically generated z-score. In fact, it even automatically calls it z duration in seconds. And you'll note that my values aren't exactly the same across these two, but that's largely a function of rounding. So if you ever need to create a standardized score, this is a quick and easy way to do that. At this point, what I'd like you to do is actually pause the video and give it a try yourself. In particular, why don't you create a standardization for this variable right here, page 5RT. That's how many seconds it took someone to complete the last page of the survey. Go ahead and pause the video and try that now. Okay, hopefully you've gone ahead and done that and I'll do it too so you can see what that looks like. If I go to Analyze, Descriptives, Descriptives, I will swap out duration in seconds for this variable right here, page 5RT. If I include that and click OK, we'll see that the mean response was about 39 seconds with a standard deviation of about 35. If I go back to my data table, I see there's now a new column of data called Z pages 5RT. That is my standardized or z-scored value for page 5RT. This is a quick and easy way for you to create these standardized variables, whether you're going to be trying to compare across variables that are on different scales or using these as inputs to things like a regression. That's it for this video. I hope you found this useful, and if you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll be sure to reply as quickly as I can. Aside from these tutorials, I'm on a mission to equip everyone with the information they need to thrive in our data-rich world. If you'd like to learn not just the mechanics of analysis, which these video tutorials focus on, but also learn the intuition behind the analysis you're performing, I strongly suggest you check out the other intuition-focused videos on this channel where I take the jargon out of statistics and data science and help you build a deep, intuitive understanding behind all the analysis that you're performing. 
I'll put a link below to a playlist of the videos that focus on just this. Finally, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and click that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new content that I put out. Thanks for watching.